What is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today, we've got a six-game NHL slate, and uh, we got three players we're looking at for today. So, smaller slate, lower volume slate, too, as well. But before we get into the video, before we get into the recap of what happened yesterday, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bets. We also, you can also follow us on our social medias at Bex Earl on Twitter, at Earl Sports Bets on Instagram. We also have a Discord link if you guys want to join that. The link to that will be in the description of the video down below. We also have Burnch if you guys want to help support the channel that way. The link to that is also in the description of the video down below. We also have a contest going on right now. Uh, if you guys want to join that, all you guys got to do is leave your best bet in the comment section below. And be subscribed to the channel and follow one of these two. And you guys can uh, have a chance to win $25 at the end of each month. The person who wins the most units. And right now in first place, only he's only put in one play. He's 1-0 with a 1.75 unit game. So you guys can come in, put, put in a play for baseball, basketball, and hockey today. You can nail your bets and be on top of the leaderboard uh, for today. So... Uh, it's guys, it's free and you can potentially win some money. So why not uh, try to get in on our contest here and try to win some money? All you gotta do is comment your best bet for each sport down in the comment section below, and uh, we will uh, send you back a message confirm on uh, com confirming your pick, and then uh, then good luck and try to win more than everyone else in the chat. All right, but a quick recap of what happened yesterday. It was not a fun day yesterday. We went 0-3 on our plays. Toronto, Jack Campbell loses his first game of the season. He was 11-0 heading into the season. So I couldn't really fade him. So unfortunately, that did not hit. Uh, Columbus, they were leading at a couple points in that game. And they, they blew it in overtime. It was unfortunate. It happens. It's hockey. And then San Jose forgot that they had a game last night. They lose 4-0 to the Anaheim Ducks. The Ducks. A team that might give Buffalo a run for the money for the worst team in the NHL. Oh, well. Uh, we went 0-3 yesterday. We're 188 and 180, 51.1% for the year, up 2.25 units. So still can't complain. We are making money this season. Uh, so let's get into today's slate, why don't we? And let's try to make this a better day. Starting it off, New York Rangers and New Jersey Devils. Uh, minus 176 for the Rangers, plus 159 for the Devils. Over under six goals for this one. Uh, and it's going to be Igor Sesterkin, wow, uh, versus most likely Mackenzie Blackwood. Sesterkin is confirmed. Blackwood is not. And looking at this, this season series is tied 2 2. Uh, but all four of these games have gone to the over so far in this series. Uh, I like the over in this match. Uh, I'm going to keep going with the trend is your friend type of situation here. New Jersey's defense is not great. They allowed 3.2 goals per game, which is 25th in the NHL. Their seven, uh, seven of the last 10 games have gone to the over. And uh, I just feel like this game, there's, you're going to see some scoring. Zibanejad is scoring really well. Panarin scoring well. I mean, this New Jersey team, they're struggling to score a little bit, but they're gonna, you're going to see some offense from them as well, I think, tonight. These are two teams that, I mean, uh, New York plays pretty decent defense, but I don't trust New Jersey to keep this under the total. I like the over six here between the Devils and the Rangers. Our next game here is the Buffalo Sabres and the Boston Bruins. A minus 308 for these Bruins, a plus 271 for the Sabres. Over under of five and a half goals for this one. It's probably going to be Linus Olmark and net for Buffalo, and it's confirmed to Jeremy Swayman. For the Boston Bruins, Swayman is 2-1-0, a 929 save percentage, 2.35 goals allowed per game so far this season. Boston's won both the meetings. Both the meetings have gone to the under. Uh, but looking at this line, minus 308 and minus 120 on the puck line, there's no way I am laying that at all. And then the, the total is the only thing I would look at here. I'll lean towards the under in this game, uh, but I'm not planning on playing it. Uh, one thing that's going to be fun to watch today is the uh, the perfection line is back in order. Bergeron, Marchand, and Pasternak are back on the same line. And then it's going to be Smith uh, with Krejci centering. Uh, Smith 
and Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall is now in Boston, so I want to see how that works out. Um, so uh, this game overall is going to be a pass. I'm probably going to watch a little bit of it just to see how Taylor Hall looks in Boston. But uh, no action for this game for me. Uh, slightly lean towards the under in this game. Uh, and obviously, probably a slight lean to the Sabres uh, with that huge plus 271 price tag. All right, our next game here is the Washington Capitals and the Philadelphia Flyers. The Capitals are minus 150 favorites, plus 136 run back for the Flyers. Uh, projected Carter Hart could be Brian Elliott. Doesn't really matter to me. These Both those goalies are not great right now. And uh, confirmed is going to be Ilya Samsonov for the Capitals. Both these goalies between if it's Hart and Sam sent off. Both of them have an under 900 save percentage. I lean towards the over. Unfortunately, it's a six and a half, and I don't want to go over six and a half for this game, even though it can easily do that. Uh, I'm just not trying to hop on a six and a half here. Uh, that's just, uh, just, you need seven goals for that to go over. I mean, I need seven goals for the top game, but I can push on six. But I lean towards the over in this game. Uh, it's gone over three of the four times. And I lean towards the Washington Capitals on this. Uh, they're minus 150 favorites, though, so I'm not trying to lay that. Maybe the puck line at minus, or plus 160 could be interesting for the Capitals. Uh, I, I kind of like that line a little bit, but I'm not going to lay it. This is another pass for me. Uh, lean towards the over, lean towards the Capitals. Uh, no action, no in general for this one. Don't worry, I do have action for this next one as we get the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Calgary Flames. Minus 165 for the Leafs, plus 149 for the Flames, over under five and a half goals. And the Flames looked a lot better uh, the other night against the Edmonton Oilers. And they're getting they're in another great scheduling spot tonight. I know they're on the road, but they're going up against a Toronto Maple Leafs team that is on the second half of a back-to-back -back after last night. And they're getting David Rich in his opening, uh, in his first start as a uh, Maple Leaf going up against his former team. Uh, versus potentially, I believe it's going to be Jacob Markstrom here. And I like the Flames in this matchup. I feel like this is a good scheduling spot for them. They looked good in their last game. Uh, let's let's see if their energy can continue here. Plus a plus 149. Uh, I, don't, I have no problem laying or betting that type of dog uh, here, especially against uh, David Riddich, which is not a great goalie. So give me the Flames plus 149 versus the Maple Leafs here. I like the uh, the Flames to potentially get the job done. All right, we have an 8 o'clock game between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Nashville Predators. Minus 163 favorites are the Lightning, plus 147 uh, dogs. The Predators over under of 5.5 goals for this game. And uh, the season series has pretty much been one-sided. 6-1 to one in favor of these Lightning. Uh, but they're going to be without Stamkos. Uh, Stamkos is out tonight. Uh, projected goalies are probably Vasilevsky, Vasilevsky and Saros. Um, and I probably lean towards these Lightning. Uh, Lightning have looked really good lately. Or they're just a really good team. They're 5-5 five and five in the last 10, so not lately. But uh, Nashville is 8-2 and two in their last 10, so I can definitely see an argument for playing Nashville here. But I'll lean towards the Lightning again here. They've just dominated this series. No opinion on the side. Probably a slight lean to the under but that minus 125 will keep me away from that. Uh, so this is another pass. Uh, we'll have one. Our last play is going to be in that uh, final game. But I like the uh, – right, but I, I lean towards the under, and I lean towards the lightning. No bets in this uh, Nashville-Tampa Bay game, uh, just some leans. As we head to our last game of the night, we have the Florida Panthers and the Dallas Stars, minus 119 for the Panthers, plus 108 for the Stars. Uh, over under of five and a half goals for this one. And this is one bounce back spot for the Panthers. Panthers are my last play of the video here. And I really like this Panthers team. They've looked, uh, they haven't looked great. Chris Drager is going to be in net today. He's 11, five and two, nine thirty save percentage, only allowing 2.05 goals per game. Antoine Hudobin is confirmed as well. He's nine, nine and five and nine thirteen save percentage, 2.31 goals allowed per game. And, I, this is a bounce back spot for Florida, and I really like this spot for them. Uh, they're a really good team. They're six and four in their last ten games. Dallas is still struggling. They're four three and three, 
And this is a spot where I think, once again, Florida is going to shoot a ton of pucks on net, control the pace of play, and be able to put up some goals against this Dallas Stars team. I like the Panthers in this game. Minus 119 versus the Stars. And uh, we'll take them to the bank here. All right, our three plays for the day is the over six goals at plus 105 between the Rangers and the Devils. We're going with the Calgary Flames at plus 149 versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. And we're looking at the New Jersey or the uh, Florida Panthers here, minus 119 versus the Dallas Stars. Alrighty. If this information was helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at Real Sports Bets. But that's going to just about do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.